Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are y'all? Good to see you this fine Tuesday morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Good morning. Good morning, Tessa. Thunder Viking. Alan Clark, Neil Girl, Michael Dillon, Alan Galanti, I'm Rich Diggs. I'm Rich Diggs. Brooks made ribs this weekend and teased me the whole time. Finally back at home after being in the office last week. Isn't that weird? That's got to be a weird feeling these days, Needle Girl, right? That's got to be just like this uh, kind of offshoot type of thing where it's, this is what I used to do every day. And now it just feels strange. <laughs> Still getting used to the new background? Well, don't get too comfortable. It's going to keep changing. <laughs> it's going to keep changing. FYI, Brad put knock fodder stacks up for sale. If anyone's been waiting and didn't see the email, thank you, Thunder Viking. I appreciate that. So the fodder stack, that's the fodder stack is this little guy. So he's kind of like a, a pocket protector fit or back pocket notebook deal. It fits the three and a half by five and a half, like the field note size, um, our knock notebook size, our larger note card size. It even fits the thinner note card size. They're just you wouldn't want you want something else in there to kind of tighten them up. <clears throat> um, where's the so here's the three by fives, right? So you see how the three by fives fit. They're a little bit narrower, right? So you can use them, but you want to have something in there to kind of bulk them up. <clears throat> Brooks ribs looked amazing. They did. They did. <clears throat> Last week of semester at the university. Nice. Back to office next week. Yeah, I think those conversations must start to be happening, right? It's a still a little weird. Still feels early to me, but I don't know. It's still want another episode of Brad and Books talking barbecue. We'll probably do something. Yeah, Michael. Like we probably don't know what we're talking about half the time, but we like to. Uh, that's never stopped me before. <laughs> that's pretty much my rule. Fodder Stack XL is a fantastic product. It's a little bit of it's a little bit of uh, sewing magic happens to make that make that case exist so like it's not for everybody but it's just like this great like pocketable thin cool little product really really love that product so yeah just the one color for now i don't know if we'll see how this does if we'll do another color down in the future we'll go to we'll go um i need to start doing some black cases again those are always popular i just got the new iphone 12 it's my first iphone I'm obviously in on the, the system. A5 Fodder Stack XXL. I have a prototype of that. I have a physical prototype of that. <clears throat> when I get the A5 notebooks back, I think that would be a good time to bring those in. Like not even joking about the, the A5 size. We've been wanting to do an A5 pouch style, like top load pouch style. And I've, I've got some prototypes out in the shop. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I have anything presentable. But um, when we, I keep saying when, not if, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get those A5 spiral bound notebooks back. I just haven't had time to get to the printer and have a, like a long discussion with a new printer. Like I'm, I'm in new printer phase. Like it's, it's like dating someone for the first time. Like I can't just <clears throat> call somebody up and say, hey, you want to go out to dinner? You know, pick you up at seven. Like we got to have this whole, this whole preamble to figure out like if we're going to be a good match for each other. <laughs> So I got I got to feel good with that full journal A5 or thin A5. That's a great question. I, that I clearly like, whoa. <laughs> I should move my alert button away from the starting screen button. <laughs> Power belly, thank you for 25 months. Let's go. So we have a big printer here, but they haven't returned my emails. I've been lazy just do it shooting emails because it's also COVID times. I don't know what their protocols are and they're not getting back to me. So I'm just going to have to drive over there one day and, and uh, <clears throat> get it back. Um, get it back. Get in the door and kind of like, I, I, I have like all the materials I need. Like I have samples, I have paper names, products, sizes, images, digital files. I'm like, can you do this? Like I should be like a super easy, easy customer. I just got to get over there and do it. <clears throat> so yeah, like I feel like we have the full journal A5 right that's the seed notebook i think this would be thinner for like notepads and thin a5 notebooks <clears throat> right because if you just built it for hardbound all the skinny stuff that we sell is not going to fit as well you'd have to double and triple up to make them fit which is not necessarily a problem 
but I'm not sure that's the story I want to tell with the product, right? That's the way I think about it, right? Like this fits specific things, right? It has rules. And I, I like products with rules. Not every product has rules, but I like products with rules. It's easier to tell the story, even if that story doesn't fit your needs, right? Maybe we'll make something else that does. So that's the way I try to think about it when we're making stuff. <clears throat> so good morning, Kimmy. Oh, May the 4th. Yeah, I should. I didn't do anything Star Wars. I forgot it was May the 4th. I, uh... I should have done something. I didn't. I don't have anything to do. So. Hey Brad, as a Torontonian, I feel like I should apologize for this weekend. So I had a friend in my DMs since Friday. <laughs> it did not go well for me. <laughs> so thank you, Josh. I appreciate that. That band box of a park is not why we, we lost, but that is interesting times that field um there were no uh wall scrapers <laughs> this weekend if you will so thank you um that was that was rough rough times so there you go <clears throat> um i came in like feel like i was running behind i got a bunch done yesterday a bunch done this morning we got some cool stuff to unbox today including a, like a really big surprise that i don't know what's in necessarily what's in the box i kind of know what's in the box but i don't for sure know what's in the box stickers on pilot pens let me write that down because i got to do the show notes after i after i finish this podcast today because i got other stuff going on this afternoon <clears throat> like i'm uh on the vintage or new see like that's a big big part of the question too right it's vintage or new i think that matters like, I think it's two separate questions, right? New is always remove. Vintage is almost always stay. I'll bring it up this week. Where is my list? All right, let me add that. I think we've covered this before, but bringing that BS here too. It's always leave the sticker. It's not always leave the sticker on a new pin. It's never. If you remove them from new, they won't be become vintage. Oh my God. This is a fight. Kids say hi, Brad. Hi, Tessa's kids. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why why Pilot went to the uh, went to the sleeve over the clip, right? I mean, even Pilot has answered that question. Platinum has answered that question. What does Sailor do? I mean, I know they don't have stickers, but do they have the uh, the click, the, the the little sheath over the clip? I cannot believe. So, if y'all buy a new pin, do you leave the sticker on? I'm starting to get worried here, chat. Right? I, like, what is the argument we're having? But I get not taking it off a vintage pin because they're just, that's going to make it worse. Like, what's the circumstance you would ever leave a sticker on a modern pin? I'd like to hear from, we probably need to do an interview. I'm talking to Tony soon. I think we're going to, Tony, this is on the list. <laughs> Stickers are for notebooks, not pens. <clears throat> Remove on new unless there's something unique about the pen or nib. Example, Mont Blanc Flex Nib. I will never understand that. The nib is the sticker. Why do you need to prove that it's a Montblanc flex nib when it's literally a Montblanc flex nib? I add extra stickers to my pen. We're going to fight now. 
I, I, I cannot believe we're having this conversation. Like, look, I was willing to be changed on Mont Blanc doesn't label their nibs, no, though. I think you would know. Oh, to ID the nib without opening up the pen? Y'all are really hurting my face this morning. Like, I was willing to listen to writing on both sides of the pages, and y'all converted me. Like, I was willing to change. I made the effort to make the change because I felt the argument was compelling. There is no compelling argument that I have heard yet to keep a sticker on a modern pen. I think y'all are just trolling me. I mean, even the cheapest gel ink pens. Tony, we're going to save... Tony and I are talking on Monday for friend of the show. I have a new... I have like a couple friends of the shows I got to get out. I have Tony coming up again for round two. Um, if you're so concerned about resale value, leave the pen in the box and don't worry about it at all. I think maybe that's where I'm coming from temporarily, right? Because I wouldn't... Like, I wouldn't own the pen that I wouldn't use, right? Stickers make it write faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if pilot re-releases the m90 would you take off the sticker a hundred percent if i bought a 1971 m90 when i leave the sticker on a hundred percent there's no way I am flummoxed. Stickers are amazing. They usually peel off anyway. Love, love us. I thought I liked you. I thought we were friends. <clears throat> Pins with the info etched into the barrel. Oh, my God. Do you, <laughs> do you leave the sticker on people? Also leave stickers on ball cap. I bet Tony is a ball cap sticker guy. Tony's a ball cap sticker guy. If the imager text was supposed to be in the pen, it would be engraved or lacquered. The fact that it's a sticker, it's a manufactured way of telling me it's supposed to be removed. Evan's trying to impart logic here, which I appreciate. <clears throat> I wish I could buff out the barrel etchings. I'm a little bit more on the fence. I don't always stick to my opinion. I y'all changed me on the the both sides of the page thing. Oh, you're on my side, love, loveless. Okay, I must have missed something. <laughs> I I I'm a little bit more challenged on the engraving, the the barrel engravings, like the Monte Grappa Monte Grappa. It's a lot of engraving. Like I don't mind it. But there's a balance there to be had. Um, would I prefer it's not there? I don't know. I don't know about engravings. I don't know about engravings. So what just happened this morning? I think this is Tony's fault. He's the only one that really wants st stickers on modern pens. Engravings are horrible. Yeah, I don't have as strong of opinion on engraving. I can actually see the issue with the engraving. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Good morning, Aurelius. Brad sticks to his opinion. I got you now. I'm a little slow. When y'all get me agitated about stickers on pens, I'm a little bit slower. <laughs> the engravings don't bother me unless I can't get them to line up. Side eyes, the Aurora's. Yeah, Aurora's another one with the big engraving. Italian pens, apparently. Big fan of the engravings. <laughs> Especially when it's the name of the pen etched into the side. I know what the pen is. I bought it. <laughs> Thank you, Tam Servo. That is correct. Engraving under a clear coat is an awesome detail. Engraving you have to feel every time you write. Maddening. Who engraves under a clear coat that you could actually see? I'm trying to think of the pens that I have. Like, I have some that are special that have engravings on it, like a pilot, uh, Pelican Demonstrator. Like, that's not a normal pen. <laughs> right like that was made to be this demonstrator type of thing but then like the monte grappas all have engraving like the um 
like the Monte Grappa model, like that style has like a big batch engraving. You know, it's got like founding dates and logos and all kinds of crap. <clears throat> Extra Kaveco stickers so we know which. Yeah, so if you buy a Kaveco, do you put the sticker on? It came in the box. Clearly, they want you to stick it on the pen, right? I leave stickers on gel pens. That would drive me insane. That's just ridiculous. So is leaving a sticker on a modern pen. They're giving you a sticker and a pen. Sticker pen. Do you put the knock stickers on your knock cases? No, I put them on my notebooks. I don't ship knock stickers with pens, but I put them on the knock notebooks. I leave the stickers on the gel pens if the color name is on the sticker. It's borderline. It's borderline. Do you put the spoke stickers on the spoke pens? They wouldn't stick. They're too big. I don't think. No, I wouldn't do that. It's a thought, though. I might work on that. I have a pen taco on my iPad. I don't even know what that means. Oh, that's is that one of Brooks' stickers? I'm going to start putting my stickers in the ice box over there. Your point is dumb. You're here, aren't you? You appreciate the dumb. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, is our sticker the... Um, the sticker sheet sticker, the, the waffles and the tacos, that was the ATL San Fran sheet, not. Not for much longer, gotta bounce at 10.30, then when we should hold any of our unboxings. We have like new paper here that was sent to me by my friends, my new best friends at Moramon. They told me they were gonna send me some stuff that we can't really get here. <clears throat> so should we wait till Tony leaves to unbox the paper? I know he doesn't care. Like, I have a big box from Jet Pens. He doesn't care about that. He probably wants to see the paper, though. I wouldn't be surprised. It's a, uh, it's a sizable amount of paper. Got to put my Brudex stickers. I think I got, I haven't been to the P.O. box. My wife went to the, drop the mail off yesterday. I said, hey, check the P.O. box. I'm expecting some notebooks. Forgot to check the P.O. box. Hope she's watching. You can watch the <laughs> play later. I love Moramon's paper. Yeah, so we got to see these may be the, um, the bound, like the side, the notebook binding, um, notebook bound, excuse me, um, croquis paper. What do they call them? The Gliffy? <clears throat> I think that's maybe what's in there. Maybe what's in there. Hello, cover number two this morning, so I can't stay. Let's go. That's that's worth uh that's worth missing for. So the Astros are in New York tonight. That'll be fun. What's the stadium capacity? Like 20% isn't really gonna cut it. I guess it'll be loud. I mean, it'll be clear. It just won't be voluminous. <clears throat> Had your second shot this morning. Yeah, the second shots, it takes like 12, 12, 24 hours to kick in. They boot Hinch in the last series. That's worth it. Yeah, like you should be pretty good most of the day today, Patrick. And then like you might get hit of something at night. Off topic, why do you think so few stores in the United States carry 0 0.25, 0 0.38, 0 0.4 size gel pens if they seem to be everywhere in Asia? I wish I knew um, because that, that's why I started the blog all these years ago. Oh, <laughs> you know to leave me on? That's awesome. That's actually pretty funny. <clears throat> so, like, I wish I could answer that, but that's what prompted me to start the blog all these all these years ago. Yeah, I mean, it's because of the writing style of most uh, Asian characters, right? You need kind of a finer, thinner line a lot of times. Um, so, therefore, the availability is there. And over here, 
no one really cares about that stuff as much as like I do or, or some people do. Like that's why stores like, you know, anyone who imports those gel pens like jet pens, that's like, like it's like candy land for me, right? It's really, really good. Yep, the Signo point three eight, the Signo RT, is what got this blog started all the way back in two thousand seven when I found it found in an office supply store. I was like, "What is this madness?" And then right after that, once I figured out I could shop on the internet for pins, it was over. Over. <clears throat> all right, let's um, let's do an unboxing. Let's start with the Moramon. So we have two. I think pretty like I showed you the Mormon one like that's pretty big we'll do that one first then we have a pretty big jet pins one here so we got a lot of stuff to cover today so let me make a little bit of room just figure out how we're gonna do this gave my daughter's boyfriend pilot varsity he can't stop talking about it that's hilarious that's a definite gateway pin Oh, speaking of stickers, Brian just put stickers out on the spoke. The spoke Instagram. Y'all should go look at that. I have those stickers here. I got to start packing those in. I had some other stickers uh, open. <clears throat> All right, let me see what we have here. I've been knocking the camera around a little bit, so I don't know how well I'm set for this. That looks pretty good. What is this? Oh, that's my bag. All right. Those new stickers will look great on my spoke pens, right? Dad? Oh my God. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right. We're gonna go, we're gonna do blind. Here, I'll show you this. Look at that. We're gonna, re we're gonna reach blindly. Yeah, so this new Instagram, I think it might be Twitter. Like, I've gotten some emails. People, the links that, I don't know who's doing it. Maybe it's Facebook, but these links are getting blocked. Not blocked, but they're requiring you to log into Instagram. Um, it's not cool. This started like two weeks ago. I noticed that links into like Twitter and stuff, um, you couldn't just click on the link and see the image without having to log in. It's terrible. I, I, I hate that. I hate how all these companies can't play nice with each other. It's Facebook. It doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> all right. So yeah, it's... It, it's infuriating. All right, we're going right out, straight out the top. Oh, there's a letter. Let me read the letter. here. I'll put this here to tease y'all first. Hi, Brad. Here they are. Gliffy notebooks with croquis paper and art paper. Nice. Looks like, um, yeah, <laughs> they had to get these from Japan for me. <laughs> nice all right let's see what we got here so gliffy write and draw whatever comes to your mind journal writing hobby records drawing this is 126 gsm paper so the oh look my camera um the croquis that i love let's let's set the uh the playing field here the croquis that i love 60 gsm cream right that's the one that i'm fascinated by so these were all the different ones oh there's two in this pack these were all the different ones that we saw on the website and in the catalog so this is like double thick paper but we were questioning the binding like can we get this croquis paper with the binding uh, with a, a traditional binding instead of the pads like we have. So um, this is this is that attempt. So these are smaller sketchbooks, um, thick sketchbook paper. So I 
we'll be testing these out. I did a thing yesterday that I just posted about on Instagram. I cleaned all my fountain pens. So they're all uninked right now, except for one. And that's this, um, the Namiki Milky Way, which I love so much. And I, I did that on purpose because like, I love this pen and I'm not using it because I have 10 other pens inked. I'm not gonna ink up one more to make sure I use, you know, and, and then be able to use all these 10. So I, everything, like my spoke pens, my sailors, like everything that had been sitting there. And I didn't do that on stream. I thought about it, Evan. I thought about it. But I, I was just like, I had the time right then. I was going to do it in the kitchen. I was thinking about doing it on Instagram. I was like, no, just let me just plow through this and get it get it done. So, <clears throat> um, so I don't have a lot of pens to test. So I'm not going to test them on stream. But we'll look at the different styles that they send. So this is a good size. This is A6. So that's A6 for example. This way you actually got it done, that's also true. So just for examples, this is three and a half by five and a half, right? So A6 is a pretty cool size and it's good. You could just quick ink some more pens on stream. Well, that'll kind of defeat the purpose of using this one pen for a little bit. But yes, I thought about that. <clears throat> so these are going to be a smaller very very thick cover for this is this feels like a, a portable sketchbook like i can see the texture from here like i don't even know if you can see it on the stream but i can see the texture from this distance on this page looks like it's probably a good watercolor page um and heavy marker page something like that so that's the 126 a6 model we're gonna be giving a bunch of this stuff away we'll we'll go let me go through this box let me go through this envelope and see we might give we might give one of these away later i just want to i just want to see what we have before we start giving stuff away but like this one's perfect because there's two of them right here you know what i'm not gonna put this back in the packaging that's just gonna be a nightmare so shout out to moramon for getting these from the japanese branch to uh to share with all of you all right next one Whoa, all of these come in two packs. That's kind of wild. Oh, now we're talking. All right. This is... So what are they... Do they call these different names? Write and draw whatever comes to your mind. They have the same thing. So journal writing, hobby records, drawing. White base, cream base. Guess what? 60 GSM. Came out, has to harass you again tomorrow. It's going to be fun Monday talking to you. I think this is going to be my jam right here. We're going to test the, <coughs> excuse me, test this out later. There would be a filling fiasco. We'll do a pin filling stream at some point. I think this might be the, what I'm looking for right here, Chad. This one. If this is the same 60 GSM croquis paper, we're in full business mode. So I have my, my sheets here. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can tell the texture by touch. Do you ever just go, hmm, interesting. Mm, mm hmm. I think it might be the same. Like this is the, the 60 GSM cream. I didn't see that it came when I was looking through their catalog. There were so many options I didn't totally see. What is that binder? It's a William Hanna disc bound plana. I'll show it. If you want to see more, I can show it. This is the A5 disc bound planner. I can show it on the big camera if you want to see it later. Um, this is interesting. This is, if this is the same paper, I'm going to be super happy. And I'm going to tell Moramon that these are the ones that their retailers in the U S need to carry like stat. 
because like this is great this is sketchbook paper right i'm not going to write with my fountain pens in this this is a different animal so this paper is like twice as thick as this paper 126 gsm 60 gsm cream all right let's stack all these up all right this is looking good this is looking good so far let me see what's this oh wait a minute we have a we have a problem free use classy notebook for adults i'm out i am not an adult i mean i'm i'm aged like one i didn't act like one i cannot use these no kids allowed on these notebooks chat i i cannot use them <laughs> for adults only adults only all right i'm just playing that's pretty funny though japan and their stationary ideas oh wait there's more paperwork oh, that's a sketchbook right. put stickers over the name and nobody will know it's for adults it's not quite as stupid as pen for ladies omg it's a it's a big it's a big 60 gsm we're in big trouble now chat maybe it's in us <laughs> maybe it's not safe for work on the inside could be <laughs> for adults only i didn't check all the uh i didn't check all the pages i'll take these let me check no it's, they're okay they're okay all right we're in trouble now chat what are we calling this size b6 60 GSM B6 hardbound. What the heck? Why didn't I see these on their... Uh, where do we get these? They are working on getting access. Sorry. To these in the U.S. These are the ones we're saying we can only find at one or two shops, like one random shop in the Netherlands and then like one shop in Japan. But they got to be everywhere because this product lineup, as you're finding out, is gigantic. Like this is a crazy, crazy product lineup. So this looks like the same. This looks like... This might be the ticket right here. Paper Cat Lady, 18 months of sub let's go. Tiger Bull, thanks for the follow. I missed that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So, yeah, we are... Uh, let me back this up a little bit so we can get the size here. So, uh, A6, B6, 60 GSM. So, this is the writing style. There's probably a sketchbook style in here. So, these covers um, are like a um, canvas, canvas cover on the outside. How many pages is this? I wonder if that's 88 pages. Like these are not overly thick notebooks. I don't know exactly what it means though. I'll have to do some research and some translation here. Come on, influencer hands. So, that looks like more than 88 pages to me, though. But I was going to say maybe 100, so maybe it's close. Amazon JP, maybe. Like, this is a product that they've had for a while. Like, I mean, there's whole, like, catalogs full of these notebooks. I just didn't know, when I was looking at these, I didn't realize that they had, like, these are apparently big in Japan see I didn't catch this 60 over here which is what I've got right here we just had the 126 the 90 and the 290s and the 90 with the grid which is great great for drawing these are for writing like that's what I got kind of hooked on was how this specific 60 GSM paper felt for fountain pens that's what got me hooked so yeah B6, A6. Crazy. There's, but wait, there's more. 
So I'll talk to really need that mic stand. I gotta think about that setup. Yeah, the only two shops I see are dot nl. I when we were looking for it, that's like all I could find. And then we end up finding one, uh, one uh, Japanese one. All right, so these are these we're familiar with, right? These are our little notepads that have the traditional uh, Nemocene paper, right? This is a really great fountain pen paper too, right? This is what I this is my first introduction into Moromon was the Nemocene line. This is the one. This is the product you probably see most in the U.S. <clears throat> right as these nemocene uh pads um i've used them for work i've used them for play i've used them for reviews they're just really 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 good quality yeah they're good um for all types of pens like anything you want to throw at them like this is the this is the this is the stuff we're used to that we know is really good um, let's see this is a two-parter three-parter okay that's that this is let me move some of this stuff out the way this is their version of the ring bound um japanese planner that's so popular in japan obviously so it's just got a, a kind of a sliding ring system there that's pretty cool it's got like a, uh, it's almost like a latch type of system down here. So you just unlatch it, throw the paper in here, latch it back. That's pretty cool. So they do, they allow for your traditional size. What paper is this? Mormon loose leaf. I, I, I'm wondering because it's that same cream color as the croquis paper that I like. 30 sheets. Nothing else I can, oh, there it is, 60 GSM cream. So we'll have to test if this is, I did not see the new Leonardo Mango. Can you um, put that in, in, put a link in the chat? I would like to take a look. So if this is the same paper, I'll have to confirm, but it says 60 GSM cream and that's the style that I like. Then it'll come in a, um, in a ring bound. And what they do with these ring bound systems is you can have different formats. You can have, you know, like your full page A5 style. And then you can have like these note pages like you can add in the front. Whoops, sorry, camera. Thank you. You can have these note pages where you, like I wouldn't want this whole bulk of note pages in there. But you know, you throw like five sheets in here, so it's not making your um, might not making your writing surface off. Um, so you have like a note page and a standard page, and I'm sure there's other um, <clears throat> other formats too. But I'm curious if this is the same paper, just by the descriptor on here. But I don't know any more than that. So it's pretty neat. Like this is like your. Um, I don't know. Filofax didn't. Kokuyo makes a ring. Kokuyo or Apica makes a ring, a popular ring bound system like this. Is it? Um, is it Kokuyo? I think. <clears throat> Little note pages are great if you want to use it as an address book. You can also stack them, right? So you could do five sheets, skip three rings, five sheets, skip three sheets, and and kind of have that stacked, um, like alphabetical, like you're saying, like address type of book thing. That would be good for ink samples if this is the good paper. Right, you just have stack, stack, and just kind of um, kind of build them off on there. Might be an option. Pretty cool. I am I am anxious to ch test out this paper. All right, let me look at this. Um, let me look at this link real quick while it's on the page here, and then we'll come back and we'll we'll regroup on the glyphies. We'll give something away from this batch. Um, but the stuff I need to hold for testing purposes. So I'm probably going to give away one of the 128s just because I need to hold the 60s to test them. And then we'll like give we'll do more giveaways later after I get through the testing of them. But how about we'll do that? We'll give away like one of the 120, one of the sketchbook models uh, today. Um, let me 
Let me look at this link real quick, though, while we're talking, chat. Oh, I, you know, I just scrolled past this real quickly this morning. It's very pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that they're doing, like, the they have some of the black nibs, although I don't think it looks great for this. It looks pretty cool, like, with some of the black trim. Um, yeah, these look awesome. I'm watching the show Muted, and I'm fascinated with the notebooks. That's what we do here. <laughs> um, so Leonardo, barrel stamping. But I think that's pretty good. Like, it's just a, usually, like, a singular line. Maybe two lines. I can't really tell, but I think it's a singular line. Yeah, they look great. They look great. I'm actually going to be I'm going to be thinning my Leonardo herd here pretty soon. We are really close to the big pen sale chat. That means maybe this year. But I am about to go through it. Those those look fantastic. Really really good. All right. So, yeah. Uh Kuru Fit. So that's the Slim and soft binder. We'll test this out. All right, so it turns out the Glyphy does come in 60 GSM cream. So we're gonna we're gonna have to try the 90 GSM grid at some point. Didn't you say that about the sale last year? Yeah, but like I've I've made a we're we're moving in the proper direction or at least. Cat is demanding pets. Bring the cat to the desk to get the pets. So we have a couple 60s. And a couple, let's do this. Hmm, let me figure out what to do. Let's just give away the sketchbook today. Because I need to figure out what to do with this. I want to test these out. And then we'll include the that with it. This other stuff I'm gonna test out first and try to um, I just want to make sure my bases are covered. And then we'll circle back and we can do some more giveaways at another date and we'll do some giveaways on on the on the blog. Speaking of which, I mean, it seems like you don't need both of those 60s. I know, but I want to I'm trying to save some for blog giveaways too. I gotta figure out what to do. Let's just do this for now. And then we will have more, I promise there will be more later. I just wanna do it correctly for what I need to get done. Um, on the blog today is a Shibui, the vial case. I'm giving that one away. Um, let's flip back over, I have something else to tell you. Um, I also gave the feedback to Shibui about the a5 case with the zip uh and pin holder issue um and told him i would not be reviewing that case and i probably i don't know if i'm going to give it away like that's the product i'm torn i told him like i'm i don't like i think i don't like this case like i think it's technically flawed <clears throat> they do have a journal case option without the zipper and they're talking about redesigning that case to just remove the zipper completely and have a slide pouch which would have been the right decision in the beginning so I did give them the feedback on that case. All right, let's give these away. Oh, giveaways. If you want to give away last week, everything shipped yesterday, I believe you should have. Did y'all get tracking? Did y'all get uh did y'all get tracking emails from me yesterday? Anyone who won um something last week? Did you get a tracking email from me? I would be curious. I think they do. You got notice. Okay, so y'all are getting I, I set it to do that, but you never know if those get sent out. So Got your stuff, got your stuff, got your notices, good. Okay, so I'm all caught up from last week. So let's let's uh, let's add it up this week. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. All right, giveaways. All right, let's move this. So I promise we'll give away some 60, we'll give away some 60 GSM glyphies. I want to do my testing first. Okay. Thank you for understanding that. And let's do this. Sell some Leonardo's to make new for a new ones. I hear there's a bestseller coming. Come on, man. It's just wrong. 
I like my bestseller though. That's on the the list of the next pens to ink up. So we inked up the Milky Way. It's the only fountain pen I have inked up right now. The Kasama is on that list and the bestseller is on that list too. But I'm trying to go slow so I actually use the things. All right. This is Maruman. All right, so I'm giving away the, what is this, A6? A6 Sketchbook 126 GSM, cloth cover, and the small Mormon notepad to one person. It'll be more valuable. When... Your blog doesn't have a link to win the Shibui. Last time when you fixed it, the link appeared then disappeared. Let me check. Oh, I guess I should check here. I don't know why I instinctively go out grab my phone. Yeah, the it's live. People are entered. So it's in there right now. Could just be you. Could be some kind of cookie blocking it type of thing, which happens. So yeah, today it is there. Whew. I worried about that when I was putting it out there that, oh, I remember last week I didn't do the code correctly. <laughs> I had to redo it. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, this giveaway is for the sketchbook Gliffy and the mini Moramon notebook. Go, go forth, go forth. And put my little name tag on here. I hope we can see these in the US market sooner than later, I'll ask my contact and find out they seem to be pretty excited about this whole thing and bringing in more of these products so we'll see we'll see what happens just imagine chat we have an entire jet pins box to go you can hassle yeah, like Mormon is big enough, and I'm sure their distributor is big enough to where like art supply shops should be able to get these products in the U.S. Mormon has their own U.S. distributorship, I think. Like, I don't want to speak out of turn, but like that's mostly who I'm dealing, who I've been dealing with to get the first batch of croquis that I got. Then they had to go to Japan to get these um, for me to check out. So. Yeah, I think I think you should be able to get them. Hopefully, without without too much <clears throat> without too much drama. Make spoke a distributor pass. I don't want to be anyone's distributor, except Kaveco. I'll be Kaveco's distributor. Otherwise, that's that seems like a tough business. Cause then you you got you get yelled at from both sides. <laughs> so I ordered a Pilot Metropolitan as a free shipping fill over something. Is there a different converter I can get for it, or do I have to use the Baby Booger type squeezer? Those things are terrible. Yeah, you can get the Con Forty and Con Fifty. Both the Con Forty and Con Fifty is the is the converter model. Um, Con Forty has the agitators on the inside i believe is that the difference distributor for leonardo that would be funny yeah it's and lots of travel yeah like like distributor sounds all fun in games but that, that's that's a tough business i think um matthew and cat have they've interviewed bryce from luxury brands and interviewed ryan i think in their most recent episode i haven't listened um, but that's two distributors there. Like I'm, I'm obviously super friendly with the distributors. I just don't know that I want their job. <laughs> so good for them. Go them. All right. No, I was too busy with my cat and missed the raffle. There will be more. There's going to be at least one more, maybe two more raffles today. So we got plenty of time on streaming today. Um, but let's pick this winner. One dog night. Jackie. Nice congratulations, one dog night.
email me. Yeah, you finally won. You've been entering since the beginning. Like, there's people that have won three and four times since the beginning, and then there's people that have won zero times since the beginning. It's weird how it works. So you've got this coming to you. Email me your shipping address. Even though I know I have it. Email me your shipping address. Them's the rules. <laughs> yeah, you know. Everybody knows. And I'm going to keep saying it because sometimes there's not going to be a you know. A you know. All right. Congrats. Ulations. On that. All right. Should we go right into the jet pens box? I think, because I think it's going to be decently sized. Um, I, I mean, it's obviously a decently sized box, but I think there's going to be a lot of small stuff in here. Let me clear that out. That's a pretty good box. So what this is, is one of my... Um, new products batches some of this stuff has already been released probably most of it's already been released on jet pens but this is like the the newer type of stuff like the past month or two of new releases or some upcoming releases zero win gang namiki winner like i brought out the namiki today just for you vlad so that's what i that's what i did for you today all right, we go in this blind because I can't like I pick like all these items and then I can't remember what exactly I've done. So we're going to do a uh, blind pulls from this box. Sorry, I always got feel like I, I need to bring in like um, hand sand because I hate touching postal boxes. They're just filth. So I, I think I'm good now. I think I'm good now. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, put this back out of the way. All right, we're going in. Oh, some of these are like all, all packaged up. Hang on one sec, let's, let's do one of these. Nice, I won't torture y'all though. You got a jet pins order yesterday too? Nice, what'd you get? All right, let's start with this because it feels like a case. Wow, that's a big case. What did I order? Oh, this is a fancy case. Box mate. Kutsuwa. I'm trying to figure out, like, get the branding right. Stationary multi box. Is that Orion or Dr. I uh, Dr. Ion multi box? This is a complicated little beast here. The world's cutest briefcase. I kind of like the handle. All right, let's see what we got here. There's a lot going on with this case. Let's figure it out. All right, I'll stop throwing it around the camera because it can't focus. All right, Dr. Ion. Whoa. This is a party on the inside. All right, so we have individual pin slots here. So these are four individual standard pin size slots. Right, something like you'd see in like a Notco product, right? They're not not like double wide um, slots. They're standard pen slots, big, like they'll fit your fountain pens, right? I don't have anything in here to show you. This is a Dr. Ion pen case, okay? So we have this flap, all right? I don't know what this is for quite yet. I think it, it's just covering whatever you put here. So this looks like it would fit your erasers or your ink vials. So these are three slots here. I'm trying to give you all a measurement on how wide they are. There is a lot going on here. The package, dude on the package is hunched over like there's a bowling ball. You could probably fit a bowling ball here. So that's a pretty wide tube. Let's see. So there's my pocket knife. My pocket knife doesn't quite fit these slots but these are three wide slots here and the three wide slots are actually designed to be above the pins right so they at least thought about that right so these three are above in this space here wide slot this is like a card slot 
right card slot small notebook slot like this NEMA scene like that's gonna fit right here pretty well perfectly right flap cover I don't know I guess so it doesn't beat on the pin barrels here I guess I'll buy that right that makes sense I'm not sure why we need the extra elastic here but we can load this we can get our bowling ball in here eventually at some k at some point right we can do this here and then we can just put more stuff on the outside as we need things yeah this is like your sample vial this will fit like sample vials in like eraser width right this this seems to be like an eraser vial type width so there you go they're that big what is that an inch elastic to tuck the flap could be there you go all right so that's one side of it this has sarah written all over it i can feel that all right so that's one one of the three zips okay one or is there just two zips okay there's just two zips so that's apparently the small side this guy's got a bowling ball somewhere else too and then this is a wow there's a lot going on here how much is this case Someone, Dr. Ion stationary case. Someone go tell me how much this case is. So this side, this is gonna hold like bigger stuff like long brushes, big stationary, like full length or just mass storage, right? Like look how big, look how big this pocket is. Can you, I don't know if you can tell how big how much large is 3650 I don't know what size this is did it say 2450 for medium I would wager this is the medium I'll, I'll look I'll poke around here a little bit more this is the large okay it's I mean look at that like there's depth here too right so like you could stack pretty high ruler scissors washi tape like kind of everything is going in this side here bulk storage and then if you want to tie down like your brushes or something here I'm gonna see if I can tell on the uh, chart so then you have a firm like you have a backboard here right so this can stay all the way up on in this section right so this section has depth to it how much Velcro is actually making contact there? Almost none. So there's a small Velcro tab here, and this will hold it down, but you have to you have to reach under to attach it, right? So you have to go under here for the attachment. It's not an awesome solution, but if you want the if you want this section to stay in place, I guess so. So another Elastic here, thin pouch here, bulk pouch here. This is for loose. This is like your washi tape you can go here, or hell, you could just fill up this whole section underneath with washi tape. The large probably can really fit a bowling ball. Yeah. It's so like the queen of washi could just fill up all washi tape in the entire thing. All right. So then this Velcro's here. Then you have like your pencil pouch, okay? So that's this section over here, just your your main bulk bulk storage over here. You get your pens, your scissors, your anything will fit in here, right? I don't have everything to a normal person would hold in here, but it just like keeps going and going, all right? So there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, black is kind of the standard go-to on these. Black, blue, black, blue, and sometimes tan. All right, so that's bulk storage. Um, let me see if I'm missing anything on the outside. <laughs> I don't think I am. So, yeah, that's it. Then you have the handle. I guess it needs a handle. The handle's a little bit overcooked for me. Like, I would have been fine with just a cloth handle. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. It's, it's fine. It's also, like, the whole case is nylon. And this is, like, that pleather. So whatever all right so this is medium 
there we go i thought i saw that on here so this is the medium size so how much is this one 25 bucks yeah how much can the large hold oh yeah it says medium here on the tag too 424.50 that's expensive medium is 24.50 hmm seems good Then Kut, so Kutsawa, don't they make scissors also? What other Kutsawa products have I used? So yeah, that's a loaded, loaded case. 25 bucks, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. This would be a great kid's school case too. I could see that being a thing. So yeah, pretty cool. Sizable. It's, it's heavy like not filled like this is it's got some weight to it so i imagine by the time you load this down it is going to be bowling ball bowling ball weighted all right let me move all my crap back out of the way all right cool dr ion let's go let's go doctor all right we got that let's see what's next getting some of the things that aren't like wrapped inside the case here didn't i get one of these last time i think i got another color i got oh i think i bought one online and um redid it so this is the uh what is it fountain pen international is that their name fine writing international i'm a fountain pen international you know, if they didn't have black on black writing i could read it a little better fountain pen international i got that had the green one and this one is Kuroshiro. I don't know though. So we opened one of these for my own jet pens order um, last week. And this is a different material. I didn't really, did the last one have like a black plated clip and a black nib? I can't even remember what I got last time. So this is the new Fine Writing International Acrylic series, right? So, yeah, the clip is pretty tiny. I don't hate it, but it looks weird. Do they have something on the cap here? No. So I ordered a stub on this one. Is that 1.5? I think that's 1.5 millimeter stub on this one. Cool acrylic acrylics. The clip is a little undersized. Yeah, it looks kind of funny. I don't hate it, but I don't necessarily love it. Um, these are also made so you can eyedropper them pretty easily. So, yeah, it's the, uh, what do they call them, military clips? So, converter, you can eyedropper them. The scaling is off, yeah. Cap too big, clip too small. Because this is not a short pen, right? So this is probably bigger than my Namiki. Yeah. So you can tell a little bit there. Like this Namiki is a small pen in general, I mean, comparatively. But you, these are sizable. <clears throat> I wanted to test these out. Um, yeah, and they're, they're like 80, 90 bucks, aren't they? Is it postable? Um, it's, I mean, it's technically postable, but that's what you get. 85 bucks. Seems interesting. Like I want to, I haven't inked up the last one that I got. They're lightweight, right? Um, is the window section too small? No, I think the window is pretty big. Like that's at like a half inch. Cool materials. <laughs> that clip is cracking me up. It's funny because I, I don't dislike it, but it's a little bit odd. <laughs> so yeah, we'll look at these. I'll get one reviewed for the blog. I don't know what I'm gonna do. The second one's probably like a Pen Attic members giveaway, part of a package deal, something like that. Pretty nice, like, 
yeah, like I have they has anyone reviewed these yet? It would look better without the clip. I agree. Has anyone reviewed these yet to see? Because I know the the brass models got pretty well reviewed. Um, just notice the large case has a strap. <laughs> He's still on the case. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So yeah, I think these are pretty cool. I'm I'm just inter interested to see like how it actually technically works. Like, is it a good pen, right? Because it feels okay, right? And you got your little eyedropper guy here. Like those are super non-functional. I mean, it'll work like once or twice, but you'll end up driving you crazy. So yeah, we will look at these soon. They are on the short list. So that's the Fine Writing International um, acrylics. I don't know what they're calling this series. Where the other ones were brass. So we'll see. Yeah, 1.5 stub. So there you go. Seems $45 cool, not about 80, not $85 cool, right? So like you think about the Narwhal, Narwhal, Pin BBS in this kind of range as well, right? So that's kind of the ones that come to mind when I see this pin. Those are the pins that I think of. Um, and Opus is another one in this range. The Opus pens, if you've used an Opus, it, that is a way more dense feeling pen than these these are lightweight feeling even though they're reasonably large all right next next all right let's all right let's bust out one of these Ooh yeah i got a bunch of the md cotton stuff let's just do all these together i think i ordered like one of i did like a one of each thing here so bear with me while i uh while I open, I got some F sizes. Oh, that is weird. Single corner. All right, we're gonna get this going. This is strange. I have not seen this before. All right, let me get this open. Go yeah, that's what I'm noticing, the corner. Galacta Corners, is that a real name? Is that what this is called? It's a single corner cut. Is it like a narwhal pin feeling? It's been a while since I've held a narwhal. I would say it's even lighter, but I don't know. I got I, I got to get a narwhal back. I've only held them at a pin show and I didn't end up with one. So I need to get one to compare. Like, this has a name. I hate the F sizes, just go back to A and B sizing. You know my stance. You know where I come from, but I wanted to give them a shot and see. I It doesn't make sense to me either. Get composted. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't allowed because you said the F. Battlestar Galactica Reboot had a corner, had all corner cut books. Audio weird for anyone else? It's probably because I was unwrapping this. Sorry if it was terrible while I was talking, but I am... I am currently flummoxed. We have singular corner cutting here. One of three corners cut. So, assumedly, your page turner corner. All the Midori pads have that? How have I not seen this before? Are y'all okay after all the tornadoes yesterday? Yes, we skated pretty okay. We were under watch till like 4 p.m. Had some winds, but no damage around here. I think it stayed mostly north, but I'd have to look. But yes, thank you for asking, Sarah. I appreciate it. Really, all the pads have this cut? Maybe I've never used... Is this... I've never... I guess I've never used the actual pad product before. The pages are cut in one corner, so you can turn the page easily, no matter which way you're holding the pad. I mean, yeah, I agree. I would, I would cut both, both or none. I guess, yeah, I guess I've never technically used the pad style. Like, I get it. Like, it makes sense. Just go ahead and drop it on both for me. Yeah, Franklin Kristoff notebooks have them both cut, though.
Okay, I'll play around with this. It's glued on two sides. Okay, sorry, this is getting out of the screen. I'll, I'll... It's glued on two sides, so what... Sh I hate this already. What is happening? Oh, am I supposed to use it this way? That's the back. Okay, this is the backboard. Damn. So it's glued here and here. This is gonna drive me insane. I guess I've never, yeah, I guess I've never used one of these. Sorry, it's, it's wrecking me. Stupid camera. No one wants to see my hands. I'm sure I will. There we go. But here's my, here's why I'm flummoxed. Oh my God. I guess I gotta leave this here. Jaman, thank you for the follow. Here's here's where I'm broken. It's just it's personal, right? There's not, like I'm sure this is gonna be great. I'm sure I'm gonna get perfectly used to it. All right. So we're bound here and we're bound here. As a right-handed rider, I want my notch here. So in this orientation, I'm cool, right? In this orientation, I'm cool. But I want the vertical orientation to be this way. <laughs> Yo, oh, I get it. Like, I don't dislike it. I just don't want binding over here when I'm writing. Right, it's it's definitely lefty focused, right? If I'm doing portrait mode, I don't want the binding here. That's just me. I'm gonna have to play around with this. This is hurting my head. I know I shouldn't notice it. I mean, isn't Japanese written right to left? Yeah. Um, because aesthetics, Mike. So yeah, so it fits the Japanese style writing. Rotated 180 degrees, I don't want that. That's at least, that's now I have it binding here and binding here. It's not because of the binding, it's because of the aesthetic. But if you write in Japanese, then you're very, very happy. I don't know. This is breaking my head a little bit. <laughs> Did your parents have a hard time getting you to eat vegetables? No, I didn't anything. It's just me overthinking. It's a cool notebook. I like it. I would use it this way, just so I have my open page corner this way, right? So you got to think of it as not made for uh, English language writers. Because I will never, I will never use it this way. <laughs> picky picky yeah that's why we do that this is why we exist Vlad because I'm picky about the stationery I use right it's really cool though I will give it that I guess that's my first Midori pad experience. I've never had one. Can't just flip it. Portrait mode is good for me as a lefty, not landscape mode. Yeah. 
from bottom to cover yeah like it's just me being me it's just like like this is how i like if i'm if i'm building this notebook for me to use i if i'm only going to do one notch i'm doing it differently i get it i i get it though i'm anxious to try the paper the paper looks cool i think this is a cool notebook i think it's neat I'm just thinking about it from a design perspective. Like it's definitely made for the for Japanese uh, market, not me. All right, let's get into these bigger ones. Oh, what's does this have a size? What size is this? It looks like it's A5 ish. Yeah, it's A5. All right, so this one's A5. Flip it and reverse it. That happens all the time around here. All right. You might have bad audio for another second while I get, while I unwrap these. Like, as, this is hard for me to cut through. Do y'all want me to mute it while I unwrap this? Because this one's a little bit bigger. So used to the style of Rody and Mormon that it would throw you off. Yeah. I would get used to it in like two pages and I wouldn't care. But, like, yeah, I'm coming at it from, like, a singular top-bound style. And adding in the notch and adding in the double, double glue, bind, double-sided binding, so. A-game packaging from Jet Pens. So these are big cotton notebooks. So this is the F2. It's not Formula One. This is Formula Two, which I don't know. I don't know why we need the F sizes, but Midori says okay. It's a cool, it's a good size. Like it's not quite square. And then this is F3. So yeah, this is the cotton paper. I've never tried the cotton paper and everyone swears by it. So I have F2, F3, and then an A5 pad of the cotton paper. So I just wanted to test these out. So F2 in relation to A5. So the bottom is F2 size and the top is A5 size to get you a, a relation. The BSF sizes, you know I was gonna order them. I don't hate them, like physically, physical space wise, I don't hate them, but it's, it's, it's why, why do you do that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why we don't do, like this is pretty much, this is almost A4. Like it might be a better size than A4, but A4 is the standard. I don't have an A4 page in here. So yeah, there you go. So this is F2. Is there an F1? So A5, F2. So these are standard side-bound notebooks where this was the, the glue-bound pad. So yeah, we'll look at these, figure these out if these are any good. Yeah, they're supposed to be good for fountain pens, right? Is there an F0? Is there an F1 too? I'll, I have to look at these. I'd like to see, now that I see F2 in relation to A5, I kind of want to see what F1 is like. The sizes are pretty normal. Like like format wise, right? You feel like, oh, this is a normal size notebook that someone would come up with. 
I think they were just trying to fit into those spots that where between A5 and A4, you get into some weird spots, like size-wise, from a notebook perspective. So, I don't know. We'll see. Something to test. That's why I ordered all these. One, to try the paper, the cotton paper, and two, to see what the F sizes were about. We'll see. Interesting. So, we'll do some testing on these, figure them out. Um, I'll probably do a, I'll probably use this pad a lot. I like these pads. How's the notebook bound? Let's take it out real quick. So this is the F2. F2. Good question. Uh, I got to get this. See if I can get this cover sheet off without destroying it. It's got I guess it's just like a glue bound signature. Like it's hard to like totally see. It's the cloth tape thing they usually do. Let me get this cup exterior cover off. Oh yeah, there's the cloth tape. Yeah, so it's the same as the normal. There you go. Cool. Same as the standards. So if you're used to Midori's notebook binding, it's the same. Yeah, so it's got this this like thin paper cover over the edge. So there you go. We'll work on some testing with these and see how they do. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, I got this because it looked like a real interesting, like cheap entry level pen just to see if it's any good. Hand Scrip Classic, IWI, Peter Bach EF Nib, Triple System. What is a triple system? Triple system. Does anyone know what a triple system is? Does that mean a nib, a feed, and a converter cartridge? I don't know what a triple system would be. So yeah, this is one of those very, very inexpensive entry-level fountain pens that I just want to see. It looks like it's got like one of those little pull converters where you just like suck up the ink. So yeah, it's all taped up, solid. I'm gonna uh, well, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna feel this. So I'm wondering if this is like a metal barrel or a plastic barrel. I can't tell. Let me open this up. Looks plastic. Small cartridge, large cartridge converter. Is that what a triple system means? Um. I think it's definitely metal. How much is this? It's definitely metal. What is in here? Feels like something's in here, but I can't get to it. just the way this slides around, I guess. All right, so let's see here. 
there's my Copic. So there's your Copic, Copic for scale. Um, O-ring posting. Oh, is that just, okay, it's a snap. It's kind of a small form factor to cap. It takes a lot to post. It's pretty long when you post it and the section's pretty short. Section's really short. It may not be out on the site yet. So these are some things that are new launched or coming soon launched. Nib looks little, yeah. It's definitely like a, like a little number five nib. I think the section's a little bit short too because it's, um, it's not sharp here, but it's edgy, right? Like you can feel the edge. And even someone like me who likes the smaller size pens, Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Someone like me who likes them smaller, I still think, I'm not sure that that section's gonna jive. So where is my triple thread? Right, it says I should have this little pool converter guy here, but I don't see it. I'm gonna take this whole thing apart. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there it is. I knew I was missing something. I could hear it in there, but I couldn't find it. That was tricky. That was dumb. Well, you have this whole section right here. Cut this thing out, put this guy right here. Right? It took me like two minutes to find it. There you go. Like, just like you have, just do this. Do that. That would be cool. I'd be cool with that. Knock yourself out. There you go. All right, so these are these little baby pull converters. Like, you, like I don't even want it anyway. I'm gonna still use the. I would still use a cartridge because this is just. You're just asking for trouble with this. Yeah, it's not like it's the converters worth using anyway. Exactly. It is so cute and it will drive you crazy. So yeah, I'll be interested to see what the price is on these when they come out. They're not available yet. It looks good, like for probably something that's not very expensive. I hope this isn't very expensive. Like I'm guessing this has to be under $20. But we're down to a double system, hmm. Where did you find that, Andrea? Because I'm trying to find the price on this. This seems like 1995 type of situation. If it's more than that, I might have to eat some words, but like it's, it's not like mega impressive. Like it's fine. Like I think I just got it for like an entry level type of pen. So we'll see how it goes. Something to test out. Oh, now I gotta put this, now I have to unbox it back in there. How much is it there? Can you figure out how much it is? like from any site I just be I like problematic problematic is better I can't get this thing repackaged how it was put that there I'm gonna put the converter there too I mean the cartridge there too all right cool it's enough playing with this one like we'll see 34 for pure black. I know. I remember this pen. There were some colors that were 19 and the black was more. I remember looking this up because I didn't know what it was. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if the pure black is worth the upgrade. They spent their converter budget on the packaging. <laughs> I wonder if this would take a full size converter. The barrel's pretty long. It might. It might take a full size converter. I don't have one in here to check, but it. Hmm. All right, we'll see. More work to be done on that one. So there you go. Hand script. New to me. We also released two more versions one, the wood pattern collection, carbon fiber version. All three are must haves. Gotcha. <laughs> big, big fans of themselves. All right, pin BBS. 308 
88. I don't know what these are. Are these model numbers? I don't. I think this is the first pin BBS I've ever had. Forgot to mention the converter was also included in the pin. So this is a pin BBS 30888. All right, nice little little sleeve here. It's very pretty. Ooh, it's bright blue. Ooh, that's fancy. This looks like your traditional pin BBS. Like this is what I think of when I think of pin BBS, right? Like the basic 1911 shape with an interesting acrylic color, color, basic hardware, like super 1911 looking, kind of a flaked ice acrylic. Eval, thanks for the follow, appreciate you. Um, wow, they really went in on the nib. You think they're like Sailor? Inf influencer hands. Come on camera, the chat needs to see this. Try this. There we go. Sailor Much Pin BBS. There you go, camera. Camera says I still haven't looked at your link, Mike. Has that been still working out for you? Like I really need to I really need to do that to like fix to to adjust the the focus on this. I saved that link, I just haven't gone through it yet. So yeah, this is like Pin BBS's move. Right, they've been doing these engravings for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know this isn't a new thing at all. But like, that's what you see when you see this pen. You see 1911 shape, sailor aesthetic. Like, it just is. Is the fodder, smaller fodder stack going to come back sometime? Almost certainly not. Because what'll fit in the small one will fit in the big one. So I think they have this pre-greased certainly feels like it oh yeah pre-greased for eyedroppering fun Mont Blanc 149 shape yeah that too I just see when you see these colors I think a sailor so yeah Mont Blanc 149 sailor all the same traditional tapered everybody did it first shape Cool though, like it's a good color. I think it's improved my desk cam. Don't like the focusing up close, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm getting a new desk cam. So I'm a, that's, I've got covered, it's just figuring this out. This is a neat color, neat pen. This is the first one. Um, I've been asked to try these um, to, to review them. I like the looks of it. It's cool. It'll just, it'll be kind of how the writing experience is, right? See what it looks like, but it's kind of neat. And these aren't that expensive, right? These are more like, these are like 40 bucks. Is that correct? This might feel better than the, uh, I guess it feels about the same as the same light weightness and lightness as the um, Fine Pens International one. It's smaller. So how much are these? Or do I have the price like way wrong? Are these more like $80 or are these more like $40? The color is awesome. Definitely like that. 20 to 30, okay. 38, all right. I was in the ballpark the first time. Um, I don't know, maybe it's compelling, right? Maybe it's a compelling deal. So comes with sleeve, good good sleeve, good box, good price. We'll give it a shot. It's like I've just been avoiding them just because like do I need to add one of these? But they're, they're compelling, you know. We'll see. See what it's like. Um I need to get some matching pen BBS ink. That's what I need. Alright, what else? Still more. More stuff in here. Oops. Oh, something just fell out of this. I wonder what that was. I'm getting down to the bottom here. Is that this one? What is that? Let's reach in and let's, I think most of this stuff is small stuff. Let me just go ahead and get it all out so I can figure out what it is. What is that? 
Ooh, I want to look at that. Secure craft lab. I saw those. I like a lot of acrylics, but they don't do EF nibs. Oh yeah, what nib is that? Oh, that's what fell out of here. What did I buy? Pressed flower stickers. I did buy those. Those are cool. All right. Let's sort out what we got here. I have a double nib pin BBS. Were they the first to do that? Question mark. All right, let's put all this back over here. All right, first up, I had to get these. I didn't know what these looked like, but um, they said pressed flowers. I thought it'd be like a pretty cool aesthetic just for like journal or something like that. So I think these are cherry blossom. Yeah, so this is a secure flower. Flat stickers. Pretty cool. Who makes these? A pre. A-P-P-R-E-E. -E. Attach them to your mobile phone case. So the, there you go. All right. I'm going to go back to this pen BBS. See what nib. So you're telling me they don't have fine nibs. I mean, extra fine nibs. So probably what, fine or medium? I just want to look at this real quick. I'm now confused. Or not confused, I'm curious. F. Is that like a big script F? All right, looks like fine nib. All right, sorry. I did not check that earlier. Whoa. Yeah, those are those are pretty stickers. Pin BBS makes a fine food day style nib. I don't know if I would get along with a food day style nib. I like the I I like the concept of them. All right, so this is what came out of that package. Is this a platinum desk pen? What is this? This is a sticker that I'll be peeling off. All right, so this is a platinum desk pen. So this is just something I wanted to try. I think I, maybe I saw Anna doing stuff with these. I was like, that'd be a cool pen to just try. Is this blue? Wow, it's like kind of dull in here in the lighting. So I can't totally see. Like from here, it looks black. Like I wouldn't even consider it. But when you're getting this see-through light, oh, maybe that's just my light reflection. <laughs> I'm dumb. Oh, stretch, we already had that. So look, watch this. We're going to just yank this off. All right, look at that. Bam. Stickers always go on the plastic packaging when you th to throw them away. This is where they go. Did y'all know that? That's why they give you this. You peel those off, and then you stick them on here, and then you throw it away. Stickers stay on. OMG. You missed the first part of this, Mike. How'd the power to the pen contest judging go? I don't know. I kind of missed it. They kind of, they kind of did their thing. Um, but that's my fault. Does this have the slip and seal? Well, I'll tell you, it's got the wide cap up here for it, but I don't know that I can see, see whether it has the actual mechanism in there. Let's see. Oh, it's in there. So yeah, it's got the spring in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like these light, like I say, I don't like big pins or long pins, but when it's lightweight and has this taper on here, I do like it. And what size nib is this? These probably only come in like a fine or an extra fine, I'm guessing. It does not say on the nib. What's my sticker say? This is where the stickers go, by the way. Uh, 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 uh. See, what good are stickers if they don't tell you the nib size? It's not on here. Maybe it's because it only comes in one. Shamo. Five hamo. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Yeah, no nib size. This has to be like E, F, or F. All right. Pilot desk pen. Pretty cheap, I think. Just something I wanted to test out for myself. Because I like that Lamy Joy style. I like the, the platinum... 
uh, style like this. So yeah, we'll see. All right, next. What is this? Oh, is this a sailor ball sign? Secura, excuse me, Secura ball sign. Secura ball sign. OMG, it's the Claire. Secura ball sign. Um, I can't remember if I've reviewed these before. This is a little different barrel shape if I have. It's a dub, it's a, um, how would you describe this shape? It's like a parentheses, like a, it's got two flat sides, two rounded sides. I don't know. It, it makes for an odd grip. So I'm flat on the back side and round on the side sides. It makes it feel pretty wide, but it's okay. This knock, it makes it look like a, a platinum, uh, um, excuse me, a pilot. Um, what are those ones? The juice RT pilot juice RT, Wish they would make wider tips. So this is a 0.4. So it's like some burgundy color. We'll test it out. We'll see. Their point fours are so fine. I'll be interested to test that out. Let's see. Oh, so I got a couple of them. That looks like some burgundy one. This is like a purpley one. Do they have the colors on the sticker? Maybe, but I can't read them. So yeah, I think I just got some some different colors there. Then I got this fancy clear barrel inner gel. I don't know why it makes it fancy, but it looks fancy. So this is a 0.5 black. I think I just got it because the barrel looks cool. It makes the clip look gigantic. Even though it's not that big, it looks like it's floating above the pin the way the barrel is. Using the brown one right now, that's real nice. Cool, I'm anxious to try them. I can't remember if I've reviewed them before or not. I, I feel like I have, but it's possibly not. Regardless, this is a new style of them. So yeah, big clear inner gel vibes here. Yeah, the clear barrel is cool. I guess it's new. I don't know. But I like it. It's a it's a neat look. Like total skeleton out. So are y'all actually leaving the sticker on this? Or do I just need to end the stream now? These are these are all from Jet Pins, yes. They may not be out yet. This is kind of like my early uh, excuse me, my early look box. So some of it's out and some of it's not. So what are we doing here, chat? Demonstrator pin. Sticker on or off? Hmm. 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 Sticker on, you're drunk. Go grade your papers. Your students aren't going to like your grading. Then you know what it is. I know what it is already. What do you mean, then I know what it is? I mean, these ball signs don't tell me what color it is because I can't read, can't read the label. I mean, it's a demonstrator. I mean, it just makes it look worse. Like, I know this is a 0.5 black inner gel. Like, I'm good. It's coming off. Yeah, it's got a, it's it's not a fountain pen, so it doesn't matter. I, pre I do appreciate that sentiment. Yeah, bark, who wants a barcode on there? All right, this is a fancy edge. It's a three. I really love what they've done with the Edge series. Like, people will hate these. And I'm really curious about this one. I mean, people already hate the Edge because it's 0.28 Jetstream, which means it's like 0.15 tip. But this one is weird. I got to get this out of the box to show you. This one, I'm not sure even I'm going to like, but we'll see. Yeah, it's got an offset tip, right? So we're gonna have serious thoughts about this <laughs> once I use it. We're gonna have a very sizable discussion on this pen. The design is cool. I just don't know that it's gonna be functional because when we talk about rules with design, like sometimes some rules are good, right? Like I like building products, like if they fit another product, 
they have to fall into rules. This is telling me I can only use the pen in this orientation, right? That's fine. But we all know we spin our pens and we do our stuff like this and I don't know. I just need, this is just something I'm going to have to use and think about how it works because the pen itself, the edge, the 0.28 is dope. And the, yeah, the whole design of this is just killer. But does this work for the 0.28? It's also a wide grip for a tiny, tiny tip, right? We talk about sometimes how the wider grip you get, the harder it is to write with the ultra fine tips I find, right? So you need a wide, a wide grip and a wide refill. But, oh man, this is just crushed. Love it. Ah, how do you get the pencil? All right, so how does the pencil, how do you, is it a pencil or is it just black? Okay, it's just black, red, and blue, sorry. I was, these things are so small, it's hard to tell. So anyway, that's black. Um, golly, what a cool pen. I just don't know if it's, I'm nervous to try this. Oh, this is such a cool pen. 32 bucks, yeah, it's gotta work good for 32 bucks. So, oh, it writes so tiny. So tiny. I don't know, Chad. This might be good. This might be good. Oh, so good. It's a multi pen, yeah. Point, it's got 3.28 millimeter refills. Man, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Can we open this up without breaking it? How does it open? Oh, it just slides off. Okay, there you go. So it's got these these thingies in it. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Kind of digging it. We'll see. So this is just gonna be like a use thing, usage thing. How is the dedicated angle of writing gonna be? Because I love how it looks. And the, the price is actually okay for me. I mean, it's expensive, but this is a very particular pen. We gotta see if I can deal with the, with the s slight to no rotation it's also, it's also quick to skip refills, like skip when you're changing them. They did a color series, Love Loveless. Not, I mean, it's been probably five or six years. They did orange, purple, sky blue, blue, black, pink, not that long ago. Oh, and the style fit would be cheaper all around, wouldn't it? So I don't know. I'm intrigued, I guess is the best way to put that. I'm intrigued. So we'll see. Actually, let's just throw this back in. Color me intrigued. They had BLX and jet streams. I may have missed that. This barrel does look better. Yeah. It's a little more substantial than the style fit ones. but it's also more expensive. All right, so this is the Secure Craft Lab. I think this is a rollerball or ballpoint. I don't know how to get in the box. Is this like really glued shut here? Nope, it's just tight because it got smushed. Because it got smooshed. slides out all kinds of drama going on here all right what do we got here it's orange 
Secure a craft lab 005. Serves its own space. Look at it, Chad. I don't know what we have going on here, to be perfectly honest. So, Secure Craft Lab 005. Holy mackerel. So this is the back end. And this is the front end. So twist mechanism. Ooh. Is this it? Craft Lab 05. Is that it? Is that the pin chat? How much is it? It's like a. I guess it's plastic. Like, what does the description say? I need to go look it up. Because I am intrigued. $48. Wow. I'm not. I'm in love with this and fascinated by it. I'm. 48 seems pretty stout. If I was guessing, I would have guessed like 28. It's plastic, but it's very dense, right? It feels it feels like a, I want to call it like a bake light type of feeling, right? It's got that, that blue plastic dish feel. So there's the secure design. You put the blue one back in the wrong package. Oh, I think I think that's a joke. Comes in a bunch of different colors. Let me pull this up off the side here. Let's see if y'all got the link. Dang. Streamlined barrel that blooms into the shape of a cherry blossom at one end. To refill the pen, pull the barrel. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's some cost. There you go, chat. <laughs> there's some of that cost. And then what? Pull the bear to sever, twist it. Where am I twisting? Here? Okay. There's some of your cost, chat. So I wonder, this is a tricky little refill. There is not a lot of ink in this refill. Is this gel? This refill is not going to last long. So the ink in this refill starts right here, and it's gel. And you just paid $48 for this pen. I mean, if you're writing this in a week I whew, that is not a lot of ink and this looks proprietary ish right hmm yeah gel goes fast and like I said it doesn't start till right here Oof. man what a pen it's definitely flawed though, right? I think that design is like, I mean, I'm seeing where some of the cost comes in. And it's really nice, but that refill is gonna cause people, whoops, it's gonna cause some, uh, Const inertia, as they say. I got to get a little bit better lighting in here to see if this is actually sepia colored. If it is, it'll maybe look a little brown. 
It's good. That is very, 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 very little ink. Yeah, this ink does look a little brown to me. It's a cool color. But after the initial wow factor, I think we're going to run into some issues for the price, right? It is really, really, really nice to hold. I am not sure it's going to be a really, really, really great purchase. Hmm. I got a lot to think about that one. That refill is going to be a big surprise. Big surprise. Did they even talk about it? They're probably not, right? I don't even know how to measure the size of how much ink is in it. Like, there's no way. It is not a lot of ink. <laughs> there is not a lot of ink in here. It does have a blue black refill, though. All right. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. All right. That's it, chat. Should we do some giveaways? I don't know if we can give away any new stuff yet. Because I don't have any, like, extras. Can I need to go through this stuff first? Do I have any extras? I could give away... The medium size, the F2 cotton notebook, because I still have the pad and the large size. The large size would just be hard to ship. It's not going to fit in my envelopes. How about I give away the medium size cotton notebook? That's kind of an extra. Man, I want to love you, secure a draft craft gel pen. Not sure. Not sure that's the ticket. We'll see. We we'll shall see. Killer sheep. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. We shall see. Some good stuff there. All right. Let's, um, sorry, just get a little bit more organized here. So let's, yeah. Out of the new stuff, let's give away this F2 cotton, MD cotton, okay? And then I'll grab a pen out of the ice box to give away. Since I don't want to give away any of these yet until I kind of kind of get an idea of what's going on. I need a little bit more time to figure that out, okay? Sound good? Good, 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 good. Looks like the refill you got was the sepia black. Yes. It looks good. We'll see. Ah. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, super sweet notebook. F2 MD cotton via jet pens. How many pages? It says 200, there's a 200 on here. Does that mean? No. Is that 200 pages? I don't know, maybe. Anyway, super nice notebook. 100 pages, 200, 100 pages, 100 pages. All right, let's give this away. And then I'll find, while y'all are doing this, I will figure out uh, something from the icebox to give away. All right, dun, 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 dun. give away. So this is, oh, I just blocked my keyboard. Bad Brad. Hundred sheets, two hundred sides. Thank you. So two hundred pages, a hundred sheets. Yeah, gotcha. Um, this is Midori F two cotton. Go. All right, y'all do that, and I'm gonna find what the next item to give away is. I'm gonna use these little Mormon sheets for the winners. 
exclamation point raffle, just like you see there in the chat. Go for it. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win worldwide. I think I'm gonna have to get that craft secure craft flat. I'm, I'm just gonna get this pin back out. This has to be put to the test. Since I uninked all my fountain pens except one, we can try this out in a more testing manner. This is gonna. This is already one of those re, uh, reviews. Probably like the jet scream. Just scream. Jet scream. That's a good name. To be. Uh, it's a little bit of a dilemma there. All right. All right. Uh, what do I got? Thirty seconds. That'll give me time. Let's see what to give away. With a jet scream, do you have to write in all caps? Uh, yeah, maybe that's why I like them so much, because I write in uh, all caps as it is. So they're literally jet screams for me. All right. Midori, super sweet notebook winner. Evan93. This is like. <laughs> Classic. Rigged. <laughs> totally rigged. <laughs> Evan has some kind of voodoo magic in here. All right, so we're going to give away the big fun kit here. Yeah, that's like four. <laughs> I was going to guess five. That's how many it's been. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give a random box of stuff here. Let's get up. All right. I am going to include one of the new Secura ball sign pins because I ended up getting uh, two of those. So this giveaway has one, two. Let's go. It's got a bunch of stuff. All right. We have. Studio Ghibli washi tape. Okay, two rolls of that. I don't know who's on there. Totoro. Totoro, whatever. That. Um, we have these. Um, these are like voice clouds, like text cloud. It's a whole roll of like text cloud washi, right? So you have that. So you put those on there, and it's like a little text cloud that you can write in. So it's that, that. I have another Coco Eero. This one's Pandas. Panda Coco Eero. I love these pens. They're great little art pens. The new Secura Ball Sign. I don't know what color this is. It looks like a burgundy, maybe. Out of the Jet Pens box today. And then a Kunisawa Sticky Note pad. Thought I'd throw in a little paper with this one. So, two sets of washi tape, two pens, and a Kunisawa notepad. This is all for one. One winner gets all this stuff. Speech bowl washi is from Jet Pens, but I, it's been a little bit since I've ordered it. Does it have the name? So it's from Bande, B-A-N-D-E. Am I reading that right? Yeah, Bande, B-A-N-D-E. 
So we'll do a whole little kit thing here. One second, I wanna get a little, I have a bag to put this in before I lose, before some of this stuff gets separated. All right, I just wanted to make sure this stuff stays together. Apologies for the racket. Put it all together. So I do have a tendency to separate some of this stuff when I move it, because I don't tag everything. I just tag like the main thing. All right, there we go. All right, last giveaway today. Okay, so this this set of stuff. All right, let me reset this. This will be washi and stuff. <laughs> Dot grog. Washi and stuff. All right, go. Spell raffle correctly. I mean, or don't if you don't want to win. I'm cool either way. <laughs> You're not my Cheryl. Falafel, that's a good one. Ruffle lol. Lamau. I know. Only because I didn't even think about it until Pat was saying spelling it wrong. Raffle is Evan 93H. That's exactly right. I think that we should do I should have a leaderboard. I need a raffle leaderboard. I think Evan's in first at four. And there's been a one or two threes, I think. Who else has won three times? Anyone? Let's see if we can make a, a board. <laughs> Most entries without a win? I couldn't track that. These are not logged. But that would be fun. Most entries without a win would be even better, but like that would be impossible. I don't even look at all the entries over here and they don't say. Negative two. <laughs> And there's a bunch of twos. I know there's a bunch of twos because just this one last week, I I know it was a bunch of people I'd already sent to. Exclamation points rigged. Yeah, most entries without a win would be the best stat to Tarak. It just doesn't save these entries. All right. We ready? We ready? Uh, pick winner. OG and Tristy. <laughs> a last week winner. That's at least two. Might be three. Nice. You still got to email me, though. Same with you, Evan. Yeah, we do repeat. That's definitely a repeat. I sent them something last week or the week before. Might have been the week before. Three-time winner. <laughs> I really love the repeat winners announcing how many repeat wins they have when we have some zero time winners that have been here since day one. <laughs> Evan, you're already on it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I wish there were, that would be cool to track the non winners. It's kind of remarkable at this point. And yeah, Evan knows the drill. I wish I knew if there was any method to this madness. <laughs> Patrick won the test raffle. <laughs> Cause so I'm gonna do this again. I'm not gonna totally one, two, three, four. 
so like there's like almost 100 people in here right but for as far as people who actually type in and enter you're not even going up against those 100 you're going up against like in this case like 50 maybe so your odds are really good you just got to keep banging that raffle <laughs> so yes Mm, helps make you uh, run them down in the next pin show. That's great. Oh, you didn't know, Andrea? Ooh, you were in the wrong place. I'm glad you found this. I'm glad you found jet pins. If you need any help, give us a shout. This is what we do every week. Tuesday and Thursday, 10 and 8, 10 a.m. Wednesday post-podcast show. I don't know if that night stream is going to work, y'all. I thought about it last night. I was like, I am really tired. <laughs> I don't know that I can do this. So we'll see. We'll keep thinking about it. Um, we're going to wrap it here for today. I'm very hungry. I need lunch. I need lunch. Back from the Vax. All right. Slumberland Studio. Oh, nice, Claire. That's awesome. I'm going to get more emotes as soon as we do this partner thing, if we ever do it. <laughs> Two words, Monday stream. I know. God. Monday really fits. We just got to figure it out. Got to figure it out. Got to do something. Got to do something. So we'll be back tomorrow post-podcast, which is around 11, 15, 11, 30 Eastern. Um, I got to do memberships. I'm not all the way caught up like I thought I would be. Um, Thursday, maybe we'll get some inks out or something. Maybe we'll have letter writing social on Thursday. I think I'm going to use uh, um, my glass dip nib pen and write um, single page A5 letters for letter writing social. Maybe we'll test that out on uh, Thursday. So something like that. Because this, be this should be all the loot I have coming in anytime soon. I don't write letters. That's exactly right. There's always a chance. There's always a chance. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking out all the new stuff. Thanks to everyone who sent me the new stuff. Mormon, jet pens. Appreciate y'all. When pigs fly, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove y'all wrong one of these days, just like I'm gonna sell some pens. I'm setting it up because one day I'm gonna prove y'all wrong. Until then, adios. <laughs>